Okay, welcome back to Mocha Don is Right. I'm Mocha Don, and we have a very short video for you today. Jack Prasobic posted this on X. Um, it's a leftist who's giving you 15 reasons not to vote for Trump. But like Jack said, this is the best Trump ad I've heard. I actually counted about 20 reasons from this person why you should vote for Trump. And uh, I, I, I don't know if we're this divided. God only knows what the future holds for us, but let's take a listen to this particular leftist. And here are the first 15 promises he has made if he is reelected. You may have heard of Project 2025, but this is from Agenda 47, and you can read all of these on his website. First, he promises that he will carry out the largest domestic deportation operation in history. He will also ask for the death sentence for anyone convicted of human trafficking. He will close the Department of Education and return all education standards to the states to decide. He will put prayer back into school and he will criminalize any race-based advantage programs. He will end the Affordable Care Act. He will ban gender-affirming care for adults and children, and he will ban any federal dollars from going towards gender-affirming care, which means anyone with government-provided health care will no longer be able to access gender-affirming care except for Viagra and Cialis. Those will still be available. He will propose a constitutional amendment that gives a term limit to Congress. He will deploy the Department of Justice to investigate the Biden crime family and any of his adversaries or political rivals. He will immediately pardon all of the January 6thers, and he will create a task force to investigate anyone who arrested, charged, or imprisoned a January 6er. He will increase the penalties for underage criminal offenders, strengthen immunity for police officers, and deploy the National Guard to patrol woke cities. On day one, he will reassess our participation in NATO and says that every European country needs to pay the United States for protection. He will also restore the wonderful travel ban for Muslims coming to America. He will build freedom cities. This is 10 new cities built on federal land. He will award them to areas with the best development proposals, and he will prioritize moving young families to these freedom cities. He will kill all e-vehicles and e-vehicle legislation, seeking to replace that with the development of a flying car. He believes that we could create a car that vertically takes off. He will remove all of the limits on American natural gas exports and drill baby drill for oil domestically. He will impose a tariff of up to 60% on Chinese imports. He will extend the 2017 tax cuts and drop the corporate tax rate from 21% to 15%. He will push Congress to pass legislation that would give every American the right to concealed carry anywhere at any time. And he will revoke any gun restrictions or legislation that seeks to inhibit people's ability to own guns that's been passed in the last several years. He will demand that Europe pay back all the money we gave Ukraine, and then he will use all of that money to recruit for the American military. And he will take billions and billions of dollars from private university endowments by taxing, fining, and suing the universities. He specifically names Harvard in this one. And then he will use that money to create the American Academy. It is a free online college that will be free of wokeness that he will force employers to recognize as a bachelor's degree equivalent. So that's Agenda 47. Yeah, let's hear it for Donald Trump. If he could do those things, I would absolutely support every single one of them 100%. Of course, you know, a, a couple things were mischaracterized. Donald Trump did never, he never had a Muslim ban. That's sophistry. What he did is he banned travel from countries where we couldn't vet who was coming in because those countries would not cooperate. Countries like Iran uh, Muslim countries like Saudi Arabia had no such ban. Malaysia, I don't believe, had any such ban. And those are Muslim countries. Saudi Arabia is where Mecca is. I, I, I mean, so there's a mischaracterization there. But the more important thing is everything else is just perfect, even the flying car. I'm a pilot. I, I understand that you need to have an autonomous flying car because um, they have a flying car now. It's very expensive and kind of unwieldy, but uh, you need to have an autonomous flying car because that set of piloting skills would make um, people come uh, taking off and landing in the middle of traffic and whatnot. That, that would be downright frightening. But if you, if you did it autonomously, I think it would work. I don't think it's something that can get done in the next five years, but I think it's something that we should sure try to do 
It's a heck of a lot more interesting than this global warming sophistry where we're going to use child labor to mine lithium and things in other countries, cobalt, et cetera, uh, using essentially slave child labor. And then we're going to import that into the United States to put in our cars. That's just BS. That's that we need to put an end to this uh, electric vehicle as well as global warming sophistry. Electric vehicles may have their place. They, they certainly wouldn't a place here like Reno, but they don't really have their place nationwide. So anyway, that's it for today. Uh, gosh, I thought that was the greatest ad ever for Donald Trump. If we're this divided, one of these days we're going to have a civil war. We're not going to have it this year, and who knows when we're going to have it. Uh, but it's definitely odd that I see that, and that makes me even happier to vote for Donald Trump. The left sees that, and they think it's just awful. All those things are awful. Anyway, have a terrific Saturday. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We need more subscribers. We're a new channel. We really need your help. So like, comment, and particularly subscribe, and you have a fantastic Saturday.